This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. We've seen that the Simple Query Wizard quickly and easily creates a Dynaset for you, it creates a question with an answer. This time what we want to look at is how you can do the work yourself and how you can create a query using only the design view. So let's go back into our database and we'll click on the Create tab so that we can get into our Query Tools. And here's our Query Tools section, and this time, Query Design. It allows us to pop in into the Query section so that we can add a query. First thing I want to do is make a mistake, because I want you to see how easy it is to correct it if you do indeed make a mistake. I meant to choose the Employees table to query, but I accidentally chose Expenses. You can double click to add a table, or you can single click and choose the Add button. But I didn't notice that I made a mistake until I hit Close, and then I say, oh, darn it, that's the wrong table. It's very simple to fix my error. All I do is click on the table I do not want with a right mouse click, and you see how I can quickly and easily remove it. And now I'd like to add a table into my section here. And there's a button in my toolbar that says Show Table, or if you prefer right-clicking, you can right-click, and you also have Show Table right here. And it brings that dialog box back, the one we saw just a moment ago, where you can choose which table you'd like to add into your query. I do want employees, so now I can click on Close, and now I have correctly added the table into my, my query. I want to get down here to the grid section, so let's get a two-headed arrow. Let's drag this up here where I can work with it. I can see it just a bit better. Whoops, I drug it too high. Let's just move that down a little bit. And now I need to learn how to add fields into the grid. Any order that you want can be chosen by you simply by selecting the proper field from the table. For instance, if I want to start with employee ID as the column that's the first column in my query, then I would add this one down here first. And my favorite method for adding is simply double clicking. So as you double click, I'll go add first name with a double click and last name with a double click. You can see that the query fields go down into the grid. Now if you realize that you have a specific order that you want to place something in, you can also drag fields down into your grid and wherever you drop them off, they will pop into the left of where you drop them. So this time, state field, I want to put it into the left of first name. So you can see my mouse has that little plus sign attached to it. I'm just on top of first name here. But you can be anywhere in the first name column. And when you let go, it says, oh, you wanted state to be there. And it pops state in, and it moves the other fields over. So to put fields into the grid, you can either double click, and they automatically populate to the right, or you can click and you can drag into the, into the grid area and actually place a field exactly where you want it. And then to run the query, you go up into the top left-hand corner. Now, if your Run button is missing, it's found on the Query Tool tab in the Design, excuse me, the Query Tool section in the Design tab is where you find the Run button. And you click the Run button, and you actually get your Dynaset or your answer. Now, we haven't added any criteria, criteria being things like I'm only looking for people from Tennessee, or I'm only looking for the people from New York with the last name of Brown. That's the criteria. We'll do that in a later lesson. All we wanted to look at here is how quick and easy it is to design your own queries at any time you want to. Now, what I haven't done is given this query a name. So to give it a name, I can do one of two things. I can hit Save, or I can just close it. Because closing it says, wait a second, you haven't saved that yet. Do you really want to close this without saving? So do you want to save changes to the design of query? Yes, I want to save changes. And so it says, oh, well, then what will we call this? And we'll call this the test query. Whoops, I'll spell it right. And then I say OK. And it closes my query, and here's my test query over here in my groups now. So it's a wonderful, fast way, and it's your choice whether you want to use the design way to create a query or if you want to use the wizard.